So we are at Magnolia Park Cemetery. This is the uh, the main one here in Winter Robins, the largest, maybe not the oldest, but it's the most active. Um, it is owned by a local funeral home um, and it is very much active, constant burials here. There are three mausoleums, one very large one, uh, two outside mausoleums, and then one that was fairly new that continues to have interments there are several older sections to the cemetery and then there is one where they have basically cleared houses uh, to expand the cemetery so right here in Warner Robins this is the the main place uh, it's very big for Warner Robins terms so this one might take a couple of videos um, but we just wanted to kind of get started here and really um, really peel back the, the edges here at Magnolia Park this is again another cemetery where there's lots of people that I know uh, buried here. Uh, a couple famous people, uh, relatively famous, famous enough to make uh, the list on findagrave.com as famous burials. Um, but we will see what we can find. This one might take a little while, might be a longer video, but this is a big place uh, with a lot to see. So getting started here, I was sort of underestimating the uh, number of mausoleums. This is one that I really hadn't paid attention to before. It is a Looks like an internal flame. Uh, doesn't look like it's burning at the moment, but uh, it is a monument here that has uh, mausoleums um, on either side. So just taking a quick walk around here. Uh, the land is kind of uneven around here. So just wanted to show what we have here. This mausoleum that's got spaces on either side. Um, uh, Stoniker, right. And then you look over to this section of the cemetery. Um, lots and lots of burials. I think when I looked at Find a Grave, it said 8,000. So I no doubt I'm not going to be able to cover them all. But you can just kind of see and get a picture of um, the way things are here in Magnolia Park. I don't know this individual, but this is sort of a unique take on the headstone here. Um, here at Magnolia Park, but I just noticed uh, this gentleman was a member of Phi Kappa Phi, which was the fraternity that I was also in in college. But this area is sort of typical to the way most of the way things here are with their headstones. The ones that are connected, you can assume, were husband and wife, and lots of individual markers here, which are pretty typical, as you can see, for this section of the cemetery. This is not the front of the cemetery. The front of the cemetery is actually right here where the gate is. But if you come through this area, this is where you'll find some of the oldest graves here in the cemetery. And it's been raining and there's a lot of dirt around here. So unfortunately, I'm not able to read a lot of these markers. But this is the Watson, some of the Watson family. There's been Watsons. In a lot of places we've been, another Confederate emblem, but the main road through town here is Watson Boulevard. That's the one that runs from Highway 247 all the way out past um, Interstate uh, 75. Cosby Watson, uh, Mamie Watson, um, just lots of Watsons, and that family owned a whole lot of land and a whole lot of this town, or what became of this town, Boss Watson is one that I've always wanted to find, but I'm not exactly sure um, where he is buried. But if we come back here, we've got some more older markers. I'm gonna try to read them as we walk through here. Sorry, this land is real uneven. Um, this marker here, half of it's missing. There's some barkers. Barker furniture is real big around this area. Uh, but there's another Watson back here as well, Crawford Watson, born 1885, died 1914. So Watson is a pretty important family here in Warner Robins. And this is, I believe, where the cemetery would have started in this area and it has built around it. Um, back over here is Muscle White. Muscle White was a family friend uh, to my dad, especially Coach Muscle White. Joe Muscle White was a coach very influential to 
getting my family here uh, to Warner Robins. So nice to point out that family here. Another name that's pretty synonymous with Warner Robins is the Walker family. You've got Homer Sr. You've got Homer Jr. Homer J. Walker was mayor of this town for a long, long time. The Civic Center here locally is named for Mr. Walker. Um, so you've got Homer. And then as we go down this way, there's Thomas Walker. And then down a little further, you've got Donald Walker. Donald Walker was also mayor of Warner Robins for 15 years from 1994 until he died in 2009. And as you can see right here next is uh, his wife who just recently passed away uh, and her funeral was just yesterday. But the Walker is also an important name here in Houston County. Um, over here is another marker um, for Donald Walker. Not exactly sure why it's not where he was, but uh, it just... Then there's some Willis's. Willis's date back to the 1940s. Um, this is just a, a section of really the history of Warner Robins. I know I mentioned that over at uh, Parkway, but there's just a lot of names, a lot of people here that were very, very influential for this town. I've talked about the history of this town dating back 75 years, but this is where those key folks are buried. I'm not sure who Stephen Taylor was, but the there's lots of different monuments in this cemetery. This one is very intricate. He was a United States Marine. And then also on the back is racing flag. So obviously Mr. Taylor was a fan of racing. Um, right back here is a United States Air Force, Hugh Gibson. A very, very intricate monument here uh, for him and his wife. One thing Jackson and I have done on several occasions is just come out here and walk. There's just so much to see and so many different things to see and people that we know this is a town we grew up in that you know we never knew exactly where they were buried but you stumble across people that you know um, this section has all the headstones as we mentioned before but then right over here we've got a full slab so I really don't know what the circumstances are how you get something different but at least you do have options here um, right over here, which is where we're going to, is another mausoleum that's right out here in the center. But I just wanted to pan around and again just show you how big this is. Not the biggest cemetery, but for this area certainly is really large. This is a really unique mausoleum right out here in the middle of this lawn. And truthfully, as many times as I've been out here, I've never really come out here and explored. But you've got statues here. Looks like some of the apostles, St. Mark. I believe this one's St. Matthew's. Um, there is up there Mr. Cicchini, a teacher at my school, or growing up, our art teacher, a good friend of mine that I graduated with. That's her father. Um, coming along the side here again. Amateur video footage. I apologize, but this is a really, really unique mausoleum here. There's another statue, St. Luke. And then we'll see what's on the other side. St. John. So yeah, this is really, really cool looking. Well, cool for a cemetery, but just different than what you see around here. As I've said before, uh, Magnolia Park is a really big place and we're gonna have to make this into two videos, but I didn't wanna leave this time without going to the large mausoleum. Um, this mausoleum is, for this area is really, really, really big. You've got outside burials all the way here on the right side, columbarium space. This is called the Veterans Plaza. It's got some flags and so we're just here on the right side of this great mausoleum. Not great mausoleum like you see out in California, but um, certainly for this area, this is a, a large structure. So 
So just walking through here from the right side, goes all the way in here with smaller areas here. But uh, just getting a good look here on the right side of the mausoleum here at Magnolia Park. Coming across the front here, I've got another large mausoleum section as we walk here to the front entrance. Jackson and I have been here several times just to walk around. Again, being from this area, it's interesting just to walk around, discover people that you, you knew, um, that you A, may not have known had passed away and B, did not know that they were located here locally. So uh, just a minute here, we're gonna go inside here, the mausoleum in Magnolia Park. We're looking right down the corridor here at the inside mausoleum here at Magnolia Park. There's a lot to see here. It's a lot to take in. Um, a very serene, not necessarily creepy, but you know, you know you're among a lots of uh, deceased individuals whose, whose place of final resting place is right here in this, this building. So when I just pan up and around um, Jax and I have come in here, like I've mentioned before, just to look at names. Um, right up at the top here are the Sharp family. You've got Miss Beulah, Mr. Bob, Miss Nell. Uh, these were neighbors of ours on the street that I grew up on. Um, but we come back through here. There's just lots of names, uh, folks, that were influential here in our town. And it's just interesting to see their final resting spot. Uh, people that we went to church with, people that we knew, Shaheen, they had a office supply store in town and, and their son Chuck was the mayor here. Um, Mr. and Ms. Lawson, both of them taught me, sixth grade and seventh grade. And then that famous grave that I was talking about is right up here. Wiley Draper, why he's famous is back, I believe it was in the 90s, there was a TV movie um, regarding the Jackson family. I uh, can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but Wiley played the, not the kid Michael Jackson, but the teenager and young adult Michael Jackson. And uh, the year after the movie came out, he died tragically from leukemia. But uh, he has his own Find a Grave page on that, that website and app, uh, Wiley Draper. But coming down through here, we'll go a little bit faster. A lot of ground to cover. But you've just got lots of names of folks that, if you're from here, you would recognize. Um, Lamar Christopher, kind of funeral home below the proprietors here. Um, you've got McConnell, uh, McConnell Talbert Stadium, that's uh, where our high school plays. But you've got areas here for columbarium, as we keep using that term. But this is pretty unique because you've got in the wall, but then you've also got this place where you can have personalized memorials, actual urns, pictures, um, just another place to go, place to see um, for your loved one. But moving forward, this is the entrance. I guess you would call this the corridor here, the beginning part of this mausoleum that very large, very serene. And again, many names of folks that I knew that were influential in this town. Um, the Stapletons, we knew them. And then over here, you've got uh, John Knowles. He was a World War II vet. Um, had some land out in Bonaire, actually has a landing um, where you can get on the Okmulgee River name for him. But this m mausoleum goes down further, all the way down this hall. And we won't go all the way down, but here's another place for personalized urns. You know, a place where someone can go, look at their loved one, uh, you know, just feel closer to them. Everybody mourns in their own way. Um, but I won't go, like I said, all the way down here, but you can see this is a very, very large mausoleum.
very quiet place to come, but very important for the folks that have their loved ones here. So we're gonna finish up our day here at Magnolia Park, leave some of it for another video. It's just a lot to see. And we've been out exploring uh, for most of the day. It's New Year's Eve, you wanna get home, but uh, we just wanted to show you just some of what you can see here. And, and I apologize for the amateur video footage. I mean, what do you expect on a, a guy with a phone camera with no graphic design experience? Um, I just wanted to show you know, what we see here. And if the, the video was a little wobbly, it's mostly because I was also watching and looking and seeing, and I just love this place especially because there are so many people that I know or folks that I knew of and uh, just like just taking it all in. Um, so we'll come back another day and do more at Magnolia Park. Um, but if you like the video, great. Uh, we're just trying to do, this is mostly for me and my son and our, our purposes because we like this. We like the exploration and we like seeing what we can see and just wanted to share with anybody that might be interested in, in middle Georgia cemetery tours and we have a lot more to find a lot more to explore a lot more to cover but as always thank you for watching Bye. goodbye jacks bye bye